Hey, how's it going YouTube? So today I decided I'll do a quick little video of the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Red Ranger. Um, it's going to be a quick review going over the basics, the articulation and my pin on this figure. Now personally, I actually like this figure, but I'm going to do a review on it and get him off the stand and see what we got. All right, so here is the Beast Morphers Red Ranger. Take a good look at him. All right, so I really love this um, new design of the Beast Morphers Rangers. I'm just starting to get into the series and so far I'm enjoying it. I love the designs, I love the beast weapons and the megazords and I'm really enjoying it. And this figure, the 16th figure by Hasbro is a great representation of the Red Ranger. So let's go over the articulation. So the head can go left and right. The arms can move forward and back. There is a bend at the elbow here. The arms can come out this far. Okay. The legs can kick out this far. They can't move back. It's hindered by the um, back part, the buttock sculpt. <laughs> Um, there's a bend at the knee, there's a swivel at, at the um, knee, there's a swivel there, the legs can come out this far, full split, which is great for posing, you can lean forward about that far can't leave back because of the bottom sculpt here so um yeah I really like this figure it's greatly detailed um and what I also like is his more for here they actually took the time and actually paint it and not color it a solid color such as black which is on my previous review of the um, Ninja Strike um, White Ranger. Um, I was talking about how they didn't um, fully paint the um, accessories in their respective colors. They just painted it a solid black. So I'm glad they actually took the time out and actually colored it and it's, and it's accurate as well. So I really like that. Here you can see his belt buckle, greatly detailed. I love the paint apps. I love the this red. This is very good. This is definitely a um a cheaper version from the Lightning Collection version, which I do plan on getting that one, but I got this one because. Well, I'll show you um, with the accessories that is compatible with the Beast Morpher. So let's go over that really quick. So the Red Ranger includes his Beast Blaster. Very nicely detailed. His sword, again, greatly detailed, great paint apps. I love the design of the sword as well. 
very nice. And it also includes the Beast Key for the Red Ranger, which is fully compatible with the Beast Morpher. So you can flip the key out like so. And another cool feature with this, as you can you can attach this to the Red Ranger's arm. You can use it like a shield. So I really like that, or just a place to keep your key so you won't, you know, lose it. You can keep it everything together. I thought that was really cool. Detail on the key there. Again, I love this figure. I recommend it if you're a Power Rangers fan of the new series. And I will, at the end of the video, as usual, provide pictures and also, and also excuse me, <laughs> I will show the Beast Morpher function with the um, Red Ranger key. So stay tuned for that. All right, so here's the Beast Morpher. And we're gonna try out the Beast key that came with the Red Ranger. So let's test it out. Key to Beast Power, Red! Let's go for a spin, Cruz! Cheetah Beast Power Red! Rangers, it's go time! Very nice. Are you ready? Say it's morphin' time. It's morphin' time. Very nice. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review. Subscribe, like, and share if you wish. And to all, have a good day, and thank you for watching. Take care.